Street Fighter, Sutori Tofida Sudorido Fida is a 1987 arcade game developed by Capcom. It is the first competitive fighting game produced by the company and the inaugural game in the Street Fighter series. While it did not achieve the same worldwide popularity as its sequel Street Fighter II when it was first released, the original Street Fighter introduced some of the conventions made standard in later games, such as the six-button controls and the use of command-based special techniques. A port for the PC Engine, TurboGrafx CD console was released under the title Fighting Street, Fighting Gusutori to Fighting Gusutorito in 1988. This same version was later re-released for the Wii's Virtual Console in North America on November 2, 2009, and in the PAL region on November 5, 2009. Gameplay The player competes in a series of one-on-one -on -one matches against a series of computer-controlled opponents or in a single match against another player. Each match consists of three rounds in which the player must knock out an opponent in less than 30 seconds. If a match ends before a fighter is knocked out, then the fighter with the greater amount of energy left will be declared the round's winner. The player must win two rounds in order to defeat the opponent and proceed to the next battle. If the third round ends in a tie, then the computer-controlled opponent will win by default or both players will lose. During the single player mode, the player can continue after losing and fight against the opponent they lost the match to. Likewise, a second player can interrupt a single player match and challenge the first player to a new match. In the deluxe version of the arcade game, the player's controls consist of a standard eight-way joystick, and two large, unique mechatronic pads for punches and kicks that returned an analog value depending on how hard the player actuated the control. An alternate version was released that replaces the two punching pads with an array of six attack buttons, three punch buttons and three kick buttons of different speed and strength light, medium and heavy. The player uses the joystick to move towards or away from an opponent, as well to jump, crouch and defend against an opponent's attacks. By using the attack buttons, pads in combination with the joystick, the player can perform a variety of attacks from a standing, jumping or crouching positions. There are also three special techniques which can only be performed by inputting a specific series of joystick and button inputs. These techniques are the Psycho Fire, Bo Dong Quan Hadoken, Surge Fist, the Dragon Punch, Sheng Long Quan Shoryuken, Rising Dragon Fist, and the Hurricane Kick, Long Wan Zan Feng Jiao Tatsumaki Senpu Kayaku, Tornado Whirlwind Kick. This was the first game to ever use such a concept. Unlike the subsequent Street Fighter sequels and other later fighting games, the specific commands for these special moves are not given in the arcade game's instruction card, which instead encourage the player to discover these techniques on their own. The single player mode consists of a series of battles against ten opponents from five different nations. At the beginning of the game, the player can choose the country where their first match will take place. The available choices are Japan or the US, as well as China or England, depending on the game's configuration. The player will then proceed to fight against two fighters from the chosen country before proceeding to the next country. In addition to the regular battles, there are also two types of bonus games which players can participate in for additional points, a brick-breaking bonus game and a table-breaking bonus game. After defeating the initial eight characters, the player will travel to Thailand to fight against the final two opponents. Characters The player takes control of a young Japanese martial artist named Ryu, who competes in an international martial arts tournament to prove his strength. The second player takes control of Ryu's former training partner and rival Ken, who challenges Ryu in the game's two-player matches. Normally the player takes control of Ryu in the single-player mode, however, if the player controlling Ken defeats Ryu in a two-player match, then the winning player will play the remainder of the game as Ken. The differences between the two characters are aesthetic, as both of them have the same basic moves and special techniques. 
The first eight computer-controlled opponents, from Japan, Retsu, an expelled Shirinji Kempo instructor and GEKI, a claw-wielding descendant of a ninja, from the United States, Joe, an underground full-contact karate champion and Mike, a former heavyweight boxer who once killed an opponent in the ring, from China, Lee, an expert in Chinese boxing and Jen, an elderly professional killer who has developed his own assassination art, and from England, Birdie, a tall bouncer who uses a combination of wrestling and boxing techniques and Eagle, a well-dressed bodyguard of a wealthy family who uses Kali sticks. After the first eight challengers are defeated, the player is taken to Thailand for the last two adversaries, Adan, a deadly Muay Thai master, and his mentor Sagat, the reputed Emperor of Muay Thai, and the game's final opponent. <laughs> <laughs> development Street Fighter was produced and directed by Takashi Nishiyama, who is credited as Piston Takashi in the game, and planned by Hiroshi Matsumoto, credited as Finish Hiroshi, who both previously worked on the overhead beat 'em up Avengers. The two men would leave Capcom after the production of the game and were employed by SNK, developing most of their fighting game series, including Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting. The duo would later work for Dimps and work on Street Fighter IV with Capcom. Keiji Inafune, best known for his artwork in Capcom's Mega Man franchise, got his start at the company by designing and illustrating the character portraits in Street Fighter. Nishiyama drew several inspirations for developing the original gameplay of Street Fighter from martial art styles he was practicing at the time. Release Arcade variants Two different arcade cabinets were sold for the game, a «regular» version which was sold as a tabletop cabinet in Japan and as an upright overseas that featured the same six-button configuration later used in Street Fighter II and a «deluxe» cabinet that featured two pressure-sensitive rubber pads. The pressure-sensitive pads determine the strength and speed of the player's attacks based on how hard they were pressed. In the worldwide versions of the game, Ryu's and Ken's voices were dubbed so that they yelled the names of their moves in English i.e., Psycho Fire, Dragon Punch, Hurricane Kick. Subsequent localized releases left the Japanese voices intact. Street Fighter IV contains both English and Japanese voice acting, although characters from Asia still use Japanese names for certain special moves, super combos, and ultra combos amidst otherwise English dialogue. Topic. Home versions Street Fighter was ported under the title Fighting Street in 1988 for the PC Engine CD-ROM Squared system in Japan and 1989 for the TurboGrafx CD in North America. This version features a remastered soundtrack. As there was no six-button controller for the TurboGrafx CD at the time this version was released, the strength level of the attacks is determined by how long either of the action buttons are held, akin to the deluxe version of the arcade game. This version was published by NEC Avenue in North America and Hudson Soft in Japan and was developed by Alpha System. The cover artwork featured Mount Rushmore, which was one of the locations in the game. This version was released for the Wii's Virtual Console in Japan on October 6, 2009, in North America on November 2, 2009 and in the PAL regions on November 6, 2009. Versions of Street Fighter for the Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Amiga and Atari Street were published by US Gold in 1988 in Europe. These ports were developed by Tiertex. A DOS version was developed by Micro Talent and published by Capcom USA. The Commodore 64 actually got two versions, released on the same tape disc format the NTSC US version developed by Pacific Dataworks and published by Capcom USA, and the PAL UK version by Tiertex and US Gold. Shortly afterward, Tiertex developed its own unofficial sequel titled Human Killing Machine, which was entirely unrelated to the subsequent official sequel or indeed any other game in the series. This edition of Street Fighter was featured in two compilations, Arcade Muscle and Multimix 3, both of which featured other U.S. Gold-published ports of Capcom games such as Bionic Commando and 1943, The Battle of Midway. 
High Tech Expressions ported the game to MS-DOS computers. High Tech also re-released the game as part of the Street Fighter series 400 ROM collection. An emulation of the original arcade version is featured in Capcom Arcade Hits Vol. 1 along with Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition for Windows, Capcom Classics Collection Remixed for the PlayStation Portable and Capcom Classics Collection Vol. 2 along with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. An emulation of the original arcade version is featured in the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Microsoft Windows. Topic: Reception. The game was commercially successful in arcades. On the coin slot charts, printed in the August 1988 issue of Sinclair User, Street Fighter was the top dedicated arcade game. The arcade version was well received. Tony Thompson of Crash, in its October 1987 issue, said it breathes new life into martial arts games, with a huge cabinet, big characters, pads where the harder you hit the pads the harder your character hits, and secret techniques. In its January 1988 issue, Julian Rignall and Daniel Gilbert said, it adds a new dimension with pneumatic punch buttons, and the action is gratifying with great feedback from the buttons but there's very little to draw you back after the novelty wears off claire edgley of computer and video games in its december 1987 issue said it had huge sprites among the most realistic characters and intense action but requires mastering the controls including punches kicks stoop kicks flip kicks and backward flips she said the competition is intense, and the deluxe version is much more fun. Sinclair User awarded the game a maximum and claiming it was one of the games of the year, while Computer and Video Games said it had no lasting appeal whatsoever.